All right, guys. You guys have been killing me with these messages about these go-karts. I get it. You guys want them. I know it. I get it. I understand it. I was the same way when I wanted mine and I bought mine. I've had, this makes like seven of these go-karts that I've had. Uh, so I got a bunch of spare parts kind of scattered about. Um, I didn't do anything yesterday because it was pouring down raining, guys. I wasn't going to come out here and make the video. I wasn't going to have you guys coming out here either. Um, mainly because you would have to drive through all of this to get here, and I don't want you to mess up my grass. Anyhow, so here we go. So I'm going to start off with, uh, I have gotten a tremendous amount of interest in these things. You guys are messaging me back to back to back about these things. Um, and I get it. The price is really good. That's all. Really good price for these things. Um, and they're going to be a lot of fun for you guys, whoever does buy them. Here's what I would prefer. I would prefer if someone comes out here and buys the trailer and both of those for $1,300. Be a happy camper, take the whole thing. The trailer is uh, well built for this purpose, um, especially if you can drive them onto it. I had to winch it up and it was a pain in the butt. But anyhow, if you drive them up on there, then it's all good. This trailer is 20 foot long. Uh, it was built for three four-wheelers. That kind of tells you how large these things are. Um, it would fit three four-wheelers on here. But it will only fit two of these go-karts. Um, it's very well balanced. When you have the spare tire sitting in the back over here, you can lift the front and just you can lift the front up and just balance it and then move it back and forth and steer it how you need to to move it by hand. It's it's a really good trailer. However, I need a car hauling trailer. That's what I'm into now. I'm doing bigger things. I need bigger trailers. I've got another go-kart that dwarfs this one. You know what? I can't even call it a go-kart. i got a doom buggy in the garage uh, that I also don't use anymore, but it won't fit on this trailer. It's uh, like six and a half feet wide. Uh, it's tires are bigger than, you know, they're as big as my truck tires. Um, these tires here. Okay. Let's get to the go-karts. That's what you guys want to see. These tires are 22 by 10 by 10. So they're large tires as well. These tires are bigger than my jet ski trailer tires. Um, now just look at this versus the width on those 15 inch trailer tires. And those jet ski tires, you know, they're just super wide tires. Um, the back end is more narrow than the front. The front is the widest part. All right, so let's let's get to it. It's got a 150cc motor, as I said in the description. It ran um, when I parked them. It's got disc brakes all the way around. Uh, adjustable seats, which look like they need to be reupholstered which I've actually got their upholstery for it. This speaker, man, this was so cool. This speaker would sit, it was mounted right up here, wrapping above my head, and it was connected through here. And it was a Bluetooth speaker. Then I had the light bar on there and had, which the light bar I believe I had hooked to here, I can't remember. Or maybe I had a switch in the back. I can't really remember. And then I had the GoPro there. Uh, it's got forward and reverse. There. And a brake. Like I said, I haven't cleaned these up. I haven't even tried to dress these up to sell them. If I did, if I was trying to get any money, I would at least clean them up. Uh, air up the tires. All the tires will hold air. Let me say that. Um, they're just flat now because they've been sitting on the ground. For all this time this one is the one i used to tinker with all the time so like the clutch has been changed out uh i can't remember what this is called but that's been changed out the belt's been changed out. i've given it all the goodies that it needed the carburetor the jets inside the carburetor um yeah this one got all the goodies and then whatever i didn't put on here or when i upgrade it'd get passed on to the other one so i've got tons of just spare parts that are all over at my buddy's house with the rest of the go-karts um but like this one you can see 
uh, I was just swapping parts out. So here you can see the ignition and the power switch and the horn. All those belong up there, but I pulled them out for whatever reason. Uh, this one's got a handy dandy mirror. I don't think I ever use that. Just see, I didn't care who was behind me. I was all, I was always worried about getting in front of the guy ahead of me. We would ride these things everywhere, guys. I'm telling you, we would take these things everywhere. Like from one side of Colleen, all the way into Nolanville, into Belton, into Harker Heights, and then all the way back to Colleen, uh, trying to stay off the roads as much as we could. Like we would go, we'd go, I don't know, quarter mile down just to go underneath the road through the through the ditch these things are just so cool they take us everywhere we never got in any trouble because we stayed off the roads um this also got the 150 cc engine uh gy6 or what these are called uh this one's got the rack in the back this one is a smooth riding one that one is um i don't want to say it's built for speed but that one is fun and this one was smooth best way i can describe that they're both fun but this was this was my personal one this is one i would ride all the time it was my baby so i'm always liking this one more anyhow so here they are here's a view from the front of each of them Uh, the tires are off of this one because the front end of this one is wider than this one is. I couldn't get it on there with the tires on. And as you can see, I was having issues trying to get it winched on here. And the, the tires kept turning. You gotta, you're going to have to do an alignment on the front end because it kept getting jammed up as I was winching it. The problem with this one, uh, other than it doesn't have a battery. Um, and it needs a, you know, the general small engine tune up to, cause it's been sitting for so long right there. So that's cast aluminum. It can be welded. This is just a structural piece for this casing here. There we go. So here, how about this view? There we go. So this section here holds the clutch holds the reverse well this is just a piece connecting the two that's all it does is just connect those two if you put the cover back on here which is a plastic shield cover guard that goes around here it would have kind of held it in place however i didn't care about that i just left it as is now that can be welded up um, I drove it just the way it is. I didn't like go taking out on long drives, but you know, I would move it around and I could drive it around the yard, uh, as it is just like that because it doesn't interfere with the belt. However, I do recommend that you get that welded because whoever buys this is going to want to put the effort into it. And they're going to want to take it out for nice long rides and some jumps and stuff like that. So, do yourself a favor. Get it welded. There's uh, Roy's Welding in Nolanville. He can hook it up for you. Anyhow, guys, so... I, I hate to see them go, to be honest. Um, I know you guys want them because y'all keep messaging me about them. Um, but here's your video, as I promised. Like I said, I'd like someone to come out here with 1300 bucks, Hook up to it. Take it away. Um... Trailer's good to go. Um, Go-karts, they, they need a little bit of work done to them to put them back on the road. Well, I guess that's it. Uh, here's what I don't want. Don't waste my time. You got the video. If there's something that I missed, by all means, ask me. But I got a lot of stuff going on. I got new projects that I'm into. And I don't want to have you come all the way out here to me. And then you kick the tires and then you try to leave. Uh, definitely don't try to lowball me. I can guarantee you that. I've got, you know, plenty of people who have said that they're going to give me the $300 each. Um, 
If you want to go to the top of the list, offer me more. Shoot me an offer. Come out here and get it. And and that's guaranteed to be yours. Because, um, I mean, I spoke to many of you. Haven't got to all of you guys, and I'm sorry. You know, so do I making the video. But the whole point of this is for me to sell them. So, you know, almighty dollar speaks. So, $300 is, is my asking price. If you want to offer me more and come and get it, um, you definitely move to the top of the list. I'll tell you that. These jet skis, I got four jet skis now. This is the oldest one. This is a 94. Um, it's a little screamer, I'll tell you that. It, it's cool. I like that. Um, those two back there, the big boys, like 1,000cc um, or something like that. I think one is 750 and the other is 1,000cc. Uh, they're all C-Dews. All of them that I got are C-Dews. Um, but yeah, these... Shoot, they're even up for sale. Like I said, I got more than enough projects. And what I'm into now is, you know, working on cars. So, a uh, car hauling trailer. That'll, that'll do the ticket. All right, anyhow, you take care and uh, talk to y'all soon. Good luck to whoever gets them. Bye.